All right, I thought for a little bit of fun today we would play around with the uh, Adafruit Feather M0 plus Wi-Fi and create ourselves a little Wi-Fi web server. And I'm going to use another Adafruit project, product here. This is the BME280 temperature and pressure sensor. Now to use this today we're going to need to hook up VN ground serial clock and serial data. We're going to use this in the I squared C mode but it does have the capability to be used in SPI mode as well. We're just not going to do that today. So let's plug her in. Now the first thing I'm going to do is connect up our power. So we're going to take the 3.3 volts from the feather and connect that to the V in. Then we're going to grab the ground and connect that to the ground on the BME 280. Next up, we're going to come up here where we have our two I squared C pins, serial clock and serial data. We're going to grab serial clock and connect that right here. And serial data and connect it to SDI. So give you a nice close look here at the connections. Again, we have VN, which is the 3.3 volts from our feather. Ground. You can see that there's not too much light. Serial clock and serial data. Now down here on the feather, you can see our I squared C pins are connected to clock and data. And our power pins are connected to the 3.3 volt and the ground. And believe it or not, I mean, that's it. That is a complete temperature and pressure sensing web server right there. Now let's go over to the PC, write some code, and I'll show you how it works. All right, here is our simple code for creating our little web server to access the BME 280 temperature and pressure sensor. This code is based on the example um, Wi-Fi server in the Wi-Fi 101 library. So you need to make sure you include the two libraries to access uh, the serial and the Wi-Fi. And in our example with the BME 280, we need to include these two libraries to access the sensor. And then we are going to tell it that it is on I squared C. We're going to create a character variable array called SSID, which is the name of your network. And in quotes, you need to have in here your Wi-Fi, the name of your network. Same thing for the password. And in quotes, you will need to have your particular password name. An integer, if you're using WEP, which would be the key index. We're going to create an integer called status that we'll be able to print out. Wi-Fi idle status. And then we will create our Wi-Fi server our web server on port 80 which is the standard web port. Now in our setup for my particular instance using the Adafruit Feather with Wi-Fi I need to include this line just to tell it which pins. If you have different pins uh, on your board you need to put those particular pins in. Then we will start our serial comms which we're going to use for debugging and just to print verbose results then we'll just wait for it to connect. Once it connects, we're going to check for the presence of our Wi-Fi shield. And if it's not there, we'll get a nice little message. Same thing here, we're going to check for the presence of, of the BME 280 sensor. If it's not there, it'll give us a message. 
and then we're going to connect to the server. So we will say while status is not equal connected, we're going to get a print to the serial window telling us attempting to connect, what it's attempting to connect to, and then it is going to send this, the SSID and password to the Wi-Fi. We will wait 10 seconds to see if it connects and we will begin the server and this will print us out a little bit of message for the server which you're going to see here in just a few seconds. Alright next up we are going to listen for incoming clients and this is of course in the main loop of our program. So we're going to say when there is a new client it's going to print out new client to let us know someone is connected and while they are connected we're going to read their HTM or HTTP request and we're going to print to that character variable and then we wait until we get a blank line which is the uh, response header we will print out the header for the HTML document and then we're going to access our BME uh, 280 server to give it temperature and pressure readings now this little bit of mathematics here on the end converts from Celsius to Fahrenheit and this from Pascals to inches of hydrogen. We're going to wait two seconds just so that we get stable sensor readings and close the HTML document. A little bit of HTML housekeeping and we will stop that client print to our serial window client is disconnected now we have down here a little function called print Wi-Fi status and this is just for our serial window to tell us what's going on we're going to print out the SSID then the SSID then we're going to print out IP address and then print out the actual address and then a little bit of information about our connection to the network alright so I shouldn't have clicked that button hang on just a second alright there we go we are attempting to connect takes a few seconds here now you see we are connected and there's our internal address now I am just going to connect with my phone here which you can't see but don't worry because I'll show you and we get our verbose information if we come down here we can see a new client sent a git command a little bit of information about the client and then it was disconnected. So what we're seeing on the client end, we bring up a web browser here and I'll show you. Alright, I'm going to type in that local address. Right? and there we have it now it's got a five second refresh so every five seconds it'll give us a refresh but it's telling us our temperature and our pressure now I know this has been incredibly basic and simplistic but if you've never played around with creating your own web server before this is kind of the basics so I hope you will please give me a thumbs up on this video and if you like, please share it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I wish you would.